Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, I've got a little unboxing for you. It's a Varsity jacket that I've been teasing for a while, and I've just been waiting for it to finally be shipped out to me and arrive so I can unbox it for you. So I really wanted to unbox it on the channel, talk about it with you guys, and talk about why I wanted to get it and why it's such an awesome piece. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Jeff Hamilton Sopranos Varsity jacket. So we'll, we'll probably start it off with me talking about how I came across Jeff Hamilton and why I love his designs and why I love collecting his jackets. Well, one day I was watching uh, Scarface. Pretty good movie, had a good time with it. It's a, it's a fun ride. If you haven't watched it, it's a fun ride. It's, it's a classic. So many iconic scenes in there that are quoted everywhere. You definitely should see it if you haven't seen it. Uh, I was watching it and then the final scene of the film came on and I, I had remembered I was like oh a couple seasons ago Supreme did a, um, a a couple pieces that were Scarface inspired they literally had like Scarface's mansion on the um, on the pieces and stuff so I was like oh my god wow yeah that's right there's like clothing for it and stuff so I was like eh, I wonder how much they're going for these days so I was on my phone you know as you do going through gray old going through all that and I was like maybe it's on eBay as well maybe some people are selling some like Scarface clothing on eBay and I was I, I just had a little look I was like what do I want what do I ideally want if I was to buy a Scarface piece I was like you know what I want like a jacket I love my outwear I would love a crazy piece um let's see if this if anyone's selling any jackets on eBay that are Scarface inspired and the first thing that I came across was i'll just bring it over for you guys now if i can sorry it's a little bit heavy but oh, i came across this leather jacket and as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god this thing's insane i mean it's so big i i can barely show it to you on there we go i can barely show it to you on the actual screen but i absolutely love this piece and as soon as i saw it i had to get it all embroidery along here applique on the front and back look it's got the design on the back as well it is just an absolute insane piece and i absolutely loved it now when i obviously found this jacket it had the designer's name on the listing obviously it wouldn't just be scarface jacket it was a jeff hamilton designs uh scarface jacket and i was like yo who's who's this who's this jeff hamilton guy what's What's he done in the past? So I did a little Google search. His jackets were worn by, and like he, he basically he does these um, crazy, I would, well crazy's a, it's, a, it's the wrong word. Um, loud. He does these loud outwear jackets made of leather, sometimes wool, depending on what your preference is. You can get uh, most of the jackets in either leather or wool. Uh, he did, cr um, sorry, I keep saying crazy loud varsity jackets bomber jackets all that kind of stuff for um heaps of heaps of people in the 80s and 90s and he's done like everything he's done as you just saw scarface ones he's done looney tunes ones he's done nba ones so a lot of the jackets that he did in the 80s and 90s were worn by nba players um he's even done them in the early 2000s as well because there's that iconic photo of kobe bryant uh, sitting down holding a trophy looking very sad rest in peace um and he's wearing one of jeff hamilton's jackets so heaps and heaps of famous basketball players heaps of famous famous people in general uh asap rocky asap rocky recently he was wearing one on yams day uh he was wearing virgil abloh's um like you know a one of one or not for sale uh hoodie and then he was wearing a Jeff Hamilton jacket over the top of it. I absolutely love that outfit. That was an insane outfit. Yeah, so like heaps of people have worn these jackets. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I've never heard of this guy before. This is crazy. This was obviously months ago now. Now I'm fully aware. And as soon as I bought that Scarface piece, and as soon as I did some research into what other pieces he's done, I just had to start collecting them, man. I just had to get them. So... I bought a second one literally on like the same day or the day after I was like nah look we're gonna have a look through eBay see what people are selling seeing if they're selling them cheap and the second Jeff Hamilton piece that I have or sorry that I got was this this is a massive piece by the way this uh, it's wool this wool jacket here with 
heaps of NBA. Well, all, I assume all the teams of the league at the time are um, all over it. It's crazy. It's 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 absolutely crazy, and I absolutely love these pieces. Now, I love wearing these pieces as um, like you know talking pieces, as like large pieces on uh, large loud pieces in an outfit. I'll just wear like a basic hoodie underneath, and then I'll wear that. And that's how I wear them. And I just absolutely love them. They're absolutely amazing. And as soon as I bought these two, I was like, I just got to keep going, man. Who's, who's selling them cheap? Who's selling them cheap? And then I bought my third one. I know, I know. I just can't stop. I just can't, like, the jackets are insane. I absolutely love them. Uh, then I got this third one. This, is, this was labeled as the wrapper one with a bunch of... Uh, like rapper jargon from like the 90s or 80s because some of it's like really outdated words that nobody would say in a modern day rap song um, And it's got all these words here All of them on the back. They're absolutely crazy. It's it's an absolutely crazy piece. I love it I absolutely love his designs. I love wearing them in outfits. I, I did um, a photo shoot in the Scarface one and that's how I came across uh, his Instagram page where he posts all the photos of people wearing them, people that he meets. It's crazy. It's, he's a lo he seems like a lovely guy. I haven't actually ever met him, but it's, he seems like a very lovely guy. His jackets are absolutely insane. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like he doesn't make them anymore. So the only places you can buy them are like secondhand, uh, you know, vintage places. You see a lot of them pop up on vintage like Depop pages and stuff. I love them. I really think he deserves more credit. I think he does insane, insane pieces. So you've you've seen my track record of me buying the pieces. So it was about time that I would buy a Sopranos themed one. I mean, come on. Literally every single video I have, you guys see the Sopranos poster I have up on my wall. I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. Now, initially I did see this jacket in an extra large, I think it was like, four or five months ago and it was very cheap and I was go going to buy it but someone bought it straight away and I didn't get the chance um I wanted to not buy it in an XL because an XL would be a little bit too small I kind of like the jackets a little bit a little bit oversized so um I tried to find a 3XL and recently like a couple weeks ago two three weeks ago a 3XL popped up and I had like 10 people watching it like, I was like, no, I'm not letting it slip through my hands like the extra large. I'm definitely buying the 3XL. Now, the 3XL, it may sound super big, but it's that perfect fit for me. It's just that perfect fit. Normally, I'm an extra large, maybe a 2XL. Um, so, a 3XL does sound a little bit big, but it's it's a perfect fit. A 3XL, um, I think that, yeah, the... Um, the Scarface jacket, that's a 3XL. That's a 3XL. And that fits perfectly. It's an awesome piece. Um, so, I'll be super keen to unbox the Sopranos one. I'm super keen to show it to you guys. Because I absolutely love that TV series. That is, hands down, my favorite TV series of all time. I think it's one of the best TV series has ever made. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. If you have not seen The Sopranos, definitely watch it it was the game of thrones before game of thrones um i was talking to a work colleague of mine and he was telling me that when the season final uh was aired obviously australia gets it like super late and this was like back in the early 2000s when you know the internet was only really getting around like torrenting and stuff so he had a mate that torrented the episode and apparently his mate had people knocking on the door saying I got to see that last episode, bro. Give me that episode. I need to see it. And it's, it was the weirdest thing to hear. I was like, oh my God, that's that's a story from another time. Because these days, everyone would just stream it, pirate it, whatever. They would do whatever, right? But like, that's crazy. That's crazy to think that like, there were people knocking on his door being like, dude, I need to see that last episode, man. Come on. Give it to me on a USB. Something. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, the season finale is absolutely insane. But I'm not going to spoil any of it for you guys. Just go watch it. Just honestly, do yourself a service and go watch it. But I should stop talking about Jeff Hamilton. I should stop talking about Sopranos. Let's dive into this thing and unbox the Jeff Hamilton Sopranos Varsity Jacket. I'd just like to say, before we start, I know that I've like <laughs> delayed it for so long. Now we're finally <laughs> actually getting the unboxing. I'm impressed by the shipping. How did someone get a 3XL jacket in here? What? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Well, 
I better shut up and just get into it, man. I bet, like, I've, yeah, I've been waiting for this piece for a while. I've been wanting to get, like, Sopranos pieces for ages. Um, my ideal, like, uh, like the most, uh, rarest piece from Supreme that I would like to buy is the Supreme, uh, Sopranos box logo. That thing, wow. Like, I absolutely love, uh, Sopranos, obviously. And being able to have a Supreme piece with it would be crazy. I'm really sad that they've, I think they've only got that one piece. I'm pretty sure Supreme's only ever done that one piece, that one Sopranos piece. They haven't done a, like a jacket or anything. If they did a jacket, I'd be on that. I'd be on the jacket if it was, if there was a jacket. Or if there was a, um, a hoodie, a hoodie. If there was a hoodie, that would be absolutely insane. That would be absolutely insane. Anyway, let's get into this. Oh, <laughs> okay, have a look, have a look. Look how that's wrapped. That is crazy. Someone managed to do that. Okay, we'll chuck the box down here, bring it out. Wow, oh my God, okay, crazy. Let's get it up, let's get it up, okay. You can instantly see it, look, Sopranos, with the gun and the, it's amazing, it's amazing. Okay, so, just quickly, this is actually one of the coolest aspects of this jacket in particular. It's not the case with every Jeff Hamilton jacket, but it is the case with this one. So, see this, right? Soprano's there, nothing on the back. Doesn't look very Jeff Hamilton, does it? It's, it? it's not as loud as those. Why is that? It's because it's reversible. I absolutely, like, it's crazy, so I'll show you. If I undo it... Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. That's it on the back once you reverse it. And if I take the sleeves out, HBO, I don't know if you can see that, HBO embroidered on the uh, arm there. And the arms are made out of leather. Bam. There's one hand. Then if I chuck it over here. Oh god, I've got to do the other sleeve, don't I? Yep, got to do the other sleeve. Give me a moment, I'm just going to do the other sleeve. The other sleeve, hopefully... From memory. Yep, there it is. Bada bing. If you know what bada bing is, if you know, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a key location in the Sopranos series. I'll, I'll leave it at that. You have to watch to find out. And here we are. It's massive. It's big. But I absolutely love it. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Bada bing. <laughs> This, ah, oh, I, I, I love Sopranos. I've been wanting a Sopranos piece for ages. And this just hit the spot. I'm a huge fan of Varsity jackets. I'm a huge fan of bomber jackets, all that kind of stuff. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to do it to him. I have to do it to him. Look at this piece. The back though, okay. I'll showcase the back to you guys. Huh? Look at that. Soprano. Ah, oh, I love it. I love. I really wish uh, more people would watch Sopranos over Game of Thrones, man. I tell you, Game of Thrones, they blew it in the last couple seasons because obviously they ran out of writing material. They ran out of material to base the series on, but Sopranos, just, it's just amazing. It's just, it's such an amazing show. And this jacket, I'm sorry, I've got on about the show, but not the jacket, but just like having this jacket is just, amazing amazing and you can tell it's a jeff hamilton jacket because they're generally loud they generally got heaps of detailing on the arms like the butter being up here the hbo down here i mean the sopranos embroidery on the chest here and the applique on the back you know it's a jeff hamilton one and also i think this is the case with this one if i find the Oh, no, it might not have it because it's reversible. Does it have it down the bottom? Normally, it has... Jeff Hamill there we go. There we go. It's somewhere. It's always somewhere on there. There you go. A Jeff Hamilton star. J.H. Uh, these are... The, the stars are normally on his... Uh, Jeff Hamilton designs pieces. On his more traditional pieces. On his pieces that he first started off with, I think. He has this logo here. That logo there with the eagle with the flags and everything. Yeah, he has that logo normally 
on his like uh i don't know i i think i think he had two different um clothing lines at one point yeah jeff hamilton and then jeff hamilton designs and i think all the pop culture surrounded ones like the scarface and the sopranos jacket i think they're all uh jeff hamilton designs ones but the sports ones you know like nba uh um they did nascar they did uh the baseball league all of those i think those are his first line which is uh jeff hamilton is jeff hamilton but yeah no this is this is, I, 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 anyway back to this piece back to this piece back to this piece this is crazy i absolutely love it um, I would wear this, I could wear this like this with just a shirt on, but as I said, ideally I would wear a hoodie over it. I usually go for a 3XL, a little bit big, but it helps when I want to use it for layering. You know, if I want to chuck it on top of a hoodie or something, it works really, really well. But I'm just super happy to get this piece because it finally like, you know, it ticks off a box. Got a Sopranos piece of clothing. Tick off the collection uh, box list, you know, got to tick them all off. I now have a Sopranos piece. We've satisfied that, and I just, ah, oh, I'm so happy that he did a Sopranos piece. It makes it even better, because it's a Jeff Hamilton one, it's a Sopranos jacket, it's literally two two of my favorite things coming together. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I would love to pick more of them up in the future, and I, of course, I'll showcase them onto the channel to you guys, because I actually had a look. If you go onto YouTube, there's not a lot of people talking about his jackets. Uh, there was an interview recently with him, but there, yeah, there's not a lot of people talking about the jackets and I kind of just wanted to, you know, talk about his jackets on the platform because no one else was really doing it and I wanted to do it, you know, I, I want to show some love to one of my, f I, literally I would say my favorite outwear designer, his, his aesthetic is exactly what I'm looking for in a piece, it's perfect, it's absolutely perfect, it fits perfect, I love it, I, I can't wait to get the net, I honestly don't know what my next piece would be, but I would, I just, I can't wait to get another one and I can't wait to show it to you guys on the channel, but that's it. I mean, I could do like a, uh, sort of like a full body shot, I suppose, but it won't really work with my whole camera situation, guys. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you guys know of any um, pieces by Jeff Hamilton? Have you seen people wear them? Do you own any Jeff Hamilton pieces? What's your favorite outwear designer? So many questions, I know, but let me know, let me know. Like, what is your favorite outwear designer? How do you feel about Jeff Hamilton designs? Would you be interested in picking up some Jeff Hamilton pieces in the future? Or is it just not really your aesthetic? That's totally fine. Let me know everything you've got to say about it in the comment section below. And that's it, guys. That's it. I thought I would just do one little showcase for you. So there's the back. There's the front. I'll try and get it. To, uh work with the coat hanger here but there's the front it's just a sweet little varsity inspired jacket i love the leather on it it's it's insane quality as always he always uses insane leather quality uh, i love the little embroidery of the hbo logo there the sopranos logo on the front but it being on the side it's totally understandable why he didn't use the uh actual well he, he used the text for butterbing but he didn't use the whole logo Totally understandable why I didn't use the whole logo. Playing it safe. Very good decision. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. The whole gun's embroidered. And then the pieces are applique, I think they are. If that's how it's pronounced. Applique? Applique? It's, it's French, I think. I think it's French. Um, yeah. Absolutely love this piece. It's, it's going in the collection. I'm definitely going to be wearing it. You'll probably see me wear it in a future video. It's just a steezy piece. It's so, so steezy. I love that it's reversible. It's my first ever reversible um, Varsity jacket. It's my first ever reversible Jeff Hamilton jacket. I don't know if they do um, like other reversible Jeff Hamilton jackets. I'll have to look into it, guys. But yeah, that, it's an insane piece. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. And like, yeah, as I said, this video is basically like okay, uh, appreciation video for jeff hamilton's work and also an unboxing obviously you get the you get to see the piece but i had to talk about him i love his work super keen to pick up more of the pieces he apparently might have a new clothing line coming soon i'd be interested to see what he's what he's got planned for that but i, I will always go back to his vintage pieces um there's heaps of pieces that i have on my mind that i'm like yeah i wouldn't mind picking that one up but we'll just have to see what the prices are and the sizes and stuff but We'll have to see, we'll have to see. That is definitely, I'm definitely going to be wearing this for the next couple of days. That's for sure. Now, 
Enough with the Jeff Hamilton. Enough with all that. Let's talk about the schedule of the channel. I'm so sorry. I have not been uploading a lot. I've been, yeah, doing uni. I've been doing work. But I'll try and upload more frequently for you guys because there's a lot coming out of the, uh, this weekend. Like, there's so much. I haven't even been able to cover All-Star Weekend. I think that's kind of dead in the water now. I kind of think, like, I can't cover that because it's so long ago. But... There's still some things I want to talk about, like the like the Yeezy truck, the the um, free Yeezys Kanye was um, getting people to hand out in Chicago. Like, there's so much to talk about. There's so so much to talk about. I want to talk about it. I just don't know if it's too late at this point. But I'll definitely try and cover those upcoming releases for you guys and do all that. So until the next sneaker video, guys. Until the next streetwear video. Until the next Jeff Hamilton video. I'll catch you later.